Lington has finally got itself a new town crier. The town council had to advertise the post several times before anyone expressed an interest in doing the job. But after a big publicity campaign, seven people eventually applied for the post. And the winner was announced after auditions last week. Now exclusively on BBC Radio Humberside Breakfast, we can bring you David Hines' first ever public performance. Let's join our reporter Gemma Dillon, who's in the uh, the Seafront Resort. Gemma, good morning. Good morning. Yes, they do seem to have been a bit shy here in Bridlington. Apparently it's a hundred years since they last had a uh, town crier. And the town council had to really coax people into applying for the town crier's job, but... We have one. His name's David Hind and he's here with me now. Why did you want the honour? I think it's a great honour. Uh, Bridlington's got so much to offer everybody and I'm proud to be able to shout and tell everybody and make cries to tell everybody why they should be coming here, how good the people are here. What a wonderful initiative that the Mayor has had here to bring back the town crier after a hundred years. Now, you did have to audition for it, and you've got that audition piece here, haven't you? Let's hear it. Thank you. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! I am the town crier of Bridlington Town to welcome folk from all around to see what treasures we hold here from Dainsdyke Sewerby and Harbour Trips to our Priory Old Town and Fish and Chips. I cry the new, I cry the old. I tell everyone that Bridlington's bold. Regeneration is our theme, to keep the best of what we've got and building a new and better lot. So here I stand, so proud of this, an opportunity not to miss, to serve you as your bellman true, a town crier serving just for you. God save the Queen! Crikey, if anyone was asleep in Bridlington, I don't <laughs> think they are anymore. That's been echoing right round the bay. Um, now, I also believe you get a pretty flamboyant costume. Have you had a fitting yet? Yes, I've been for a measurement uh, in York, and um, a young lady's making up the costume. I should have it at the end of March, uh, start of April. And, uh, yes, it'd be fabulous to, uh, to be wearing it with the three-cornered hat and the all the attire of the town criers. Tutor of honour there already for you. When do you actually start work? Well, officially, when I get my costume, I can then take part in the civic uh, ceremonies, and um, I look forward to that. There's a, a civic event, I think, mid-April, and that's in my diary, and I'll be looking forward to building other opportunities and making the most of the role, because this is a very important role for the town. And uh, town crier competitions, are you going to enter one or two of those as well? I think so. <laughs> I, think, I think I'd like to uh, see, see how uh, my competition is and, and uh, see how I would do at such an event. It seems quite a fun thing to do. Certainly does. And just finally, our uh, presenter, Adam Wilde, he's standing in for, the, for Andy Comfort this week. If we were maybe 200 years ago, how would, how would you introduce him? I would just like to introduce the Honourable Adam Wilde with his microphone, this new invention. He can talk to people miles away. I can't possibly reach them, but he can. He might be able to, but you certainly go a fair old way. <laughs> Back to you, Adam. What do you think? That's spectacular. Gemma, thank you very much. And thank you particularly, Mr Hind. That's uh, David Hind, Bridlington's new town crier. I think he is going to be a roaring success there in the resort. Thank you very much for that. Nine minutes to nine then here on BBC Radio Humberside. You can't really top that, can you, Nick Robbins? But uh, have a go. No, there's nothing to shout about here. Holiness Road heading into Hull. Still quite busy around...